Hi guys, it's Makeup Hair Junkie Over 40 here, and I have some wig tips for you. Um, I got some of these tips from Daily Dazzle and Dawn here on YouTube. If you haven't seen her yet, you need to check her channel out. She has great tips, and she has like these magic fingers that make these wigs look amazing. So, um, this is the Flirt Alert wig by Raquel Welch. And I've worn this wig, um, I would say about 12 times, and then it went to crap. I mean, I don't know how, how else to say it. The fibers, they're the heat-friendly fibers. Maybe that's why I'm having issues. But the wig just looked drab and fuzzy and thick, and it's just a rat's nest. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. I was very disappointed because the price point of this wig was not cheap. And to spend all that money and then only get 12 really nice wears out of it, I was a little disappointed. So I was doing some research on YouTube and Daily Dazzle and Dawn had suggested to use silicone spray. And I've seen this before a while back but I really wasn't sure what silicone spray was. And I thought, well, to purchase something else on top of this expensive wig, so purchase silicone spray or a steamer or, you know, other wig hair accessories, you're just adding to my bill. But she used the Armor All brand, which is, you know, from the auto parts store, I would imagine. Um, well, we couldn't find the Armor All brand silicone spray. So my husband got this. It's called Liquid Wrench Silicone Spray. I don't know why my phone's a little fuzzy. I apologize for the quality and stuff of my um, videos, you guys. My computer, my, my laptop crashed, so I have to upload my videos from my phone. I can't tweak or edit them, and it's really frustrating. Anyways, so I used this, and what I did is I took the wig and I put it on my vase upside down. I took my vase, turned it upside down, put my wig on it, and I just fluffed up the hair. And then I took this and I just sprayed the back and the sides. And I picked it up and put my fingers through it. Oh my gosh, it looked like the wig, almost like I just took it out of the box again. I was really, really surprised that this worked so well. Um, I really didn't expect it to work as well as um, what I've heard it would work. So that was fine, and the silicone spray worked good. I was so excited. So I let the wig dry out, and then when I went to put it on, the stench was disgusting. This stuff smelled. Now, um, I always have to think before I say her, her YouTube channel, um, Daily, Dazzle, and Dawn. Um, she had made a comment that the armor all doesn't have a scent to it. Well, like I said, we couldn't find the armor all one, so we, my husband bought this. This was $6, by the way. Um, so I thought, well, how am I going to get the smell out? If I wash it, I'm going to wash everything out that I just put in. So what I decided to do was to try like a Febreze-type product, squirted it all over the wig, satur not saturated it, but I really gave it a good coat of this, let it dry. I could still smell this. So what I ended up doing is taking the wig. I didn't turn it inside out. I just took it off, laid it in a sink full of cold water with fabric softener. I let it set in there for 10 minutes. I took the wig out, rinsed it under the faucet, put it in a towel, rolled the towel up to squeeze any excess water on it, out of it. And then I took the wig, put it inside out and hung it in the shower to dry. Now, that helped. I can't smell this spray anymore. All I smell is the fabric softener. So, um, I don't know if you did this fabric softener heavy first and then did this. I think you would still smell this. Um, so, after I did this whole process, the wig still is looking a lot better it's not as good as when I first sprayed it with this though. So I'm pretty sure some of this came out when I soaked it in the downy or the fabric softener. Um, but it is at least manageable. At least I can wear the wig. I flipped it over here instead of having the part 
here. I flipped it over here to give it a little more umph. And uh, I used a pick and picked it out. This is in the color. Yeah, I can't remember. A shaded Biscuit. It's got the platinum in it. I love it. And I get so many compliments on this wig. And it's a shame that it doesn't last longer. Um, I really, really wish that Raquel Welch would make this wig in non-heat defiant. So that way you can't put any heat on it. Because I don't put any heat on this. I've tried to curl it before. I don't know if it's just my curling iron's not too hot or it's too. I, I turned my curling iron down because it doesn't have um, a number temperature gauge on it. It just has like the numbers one through twelve or one through twenty. So I kind of put it on thirteen. I think it was because it goes up to twenty. I put it on at thirteen and tried curling it. It didn't really do that well. It straightens nicely, but on my straightener I have a temperature gauge. Um, but I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wear it, wear it, wear it. And once I can't wear it anymore and it gets really, really nasty, I'll just go ahead and put high heat curling iron on it. I mean, what am I going to do? If it, if it ruins it, it ruins it. You know, eventually these wigs are going to get old and you're going to have to throw them out anyway. So I don't know. I just, I wish it would, would have been in, in the non HD fibers because I think it would I don't have a pro this problem with any of the other wigs that are not heat defiant so anyway it's just a lot of money for a wig that only stays nice for a short period of time anyways I wanted to share, share that with you <clears throat> and if you guys haven't checked out the daily dazzle and dawn channel you really need to because let me tell you that girl has magic fingers because if she can take a wig out of the box, put it on, and within five minutes have that thing looking like glamour hair, you know, with updos and flipping to the side, she just has magic fingers. So if you see a wig online and it's the length you want, you like the col it has the color that you want, that you're interested in, and the pattern, like wave straight, uh, layered if the cut is what you want, but the style is off Look on YouTube and check her channel out because she has a lot of different variety of wigs um, But look on YouTube and see other people how they style the wig because let's face it in those magazines and websites the these models the hair is not styled I Mean especially Polly Young. There's a lot of cute wigs that Polly Young has on her website but let me tell you, those models, the models are beautiful, but they don't style the hair on the models. I mean, they look like mops on their head. <laughs> so um, anyway, check out her website, her channel, um, and you'll be amazed at what she can do. So um, thanks for watching, and I hope this helped someone. And if anyone has a different kind of auto, automotive silicone spray, um, from the auto parts store or Walmart that doesn't have a scent besides the Armor All, let me know. Now, they might carry the Armor All brand at Walmart, but our advanced auto parts here in town, Walmart's like 30 miles from me. I'm not driving to Walmart for one item, which I could order it online. Anyway, uh, but, but the advanced auto parts store that we went to just had this brand. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day and um, good luck with your wigs.